Hi, and welcome to another Scratch tutorial. And today, we are going to learn about how to create clones. So, if you just create a new project, um, I will show you how to create clones and um, when you would need to do that. So, creating clones is basically like having a guy and just creating copies of that guy. So, in control, there's a three blocks for cloning. Create clone of myself. When I start as a clone, and delete this clone. So, you can create clone of yourself, or if I had to ha make a surprise sprite, you can make a clone of something else, like the knight. So, after that, then we go to the knight, and when it starts as a clone, then it will have its real thing, but then it will have a clone of itself. So, we don't need that. We can do... There. Okay, so, what we can do is we can have it... <coughs> it wherever... Its clone will appear wherever it is. So, we'll have it go to... Go to random position. There, it's going to go there. Oh, we need it kind of showing. There we go, that's a random position. And then we want it to create clone of itself. So when flag clicked, create clone of myself, and then go to random position. So its clone's going to be there, and then it's going to go to another place. There, so this is the real one, and then this is the clone. And if we want to show that a little better, because right now if we just do this again, we're basically just the clone's just staying there. So when I start as a clone, delete this clone real fast. There, now the clone's deleted. Because when it's starting as a clone, then it's going to delete itself, basically. So, um, when it starts as a clone, it's going to do that, and then it's going to, when it starts as a clone, it's going to change the size. It's going to set the size, set the size to 100% at the beginning, and then when it starts as a clone, it's going to set the size to 50. And when we click the flag, now this is the clone, this is the real thing. This is the clone. This is the real thing. And we could do this by forever if mouse down. And now every time I click, it will create a clone of itself and then go to a random position. And if I hold it down, it's just creating its clones everywhere. And these are all basically copies of it. And if we don't want that to happen, we can just do... Wait until it's not mouse down. So it's just creating copies of itself everywhere. And the copies are going a little bit smaller. Here, this, um, what we could do is when I start as a clone, repeat. like 50 times and then after it repeats that amount of times then it's going to delete itself change pixel it effect by 10 and we don't need that set size to anymore because so when I go to a random position just kind of makes itself go away. And that's kind of cool, but it's going to maybe we want it to create clones of itself and then it's going to go to the mouse pointer. That's a good idea. Maybe effect by five. Now they kind of go away, which is kind of cool. I like that. And the real ones by my mouse at all times, but the fake ones are just everywhere else. And we don't need to do it with the cat. Of course, you can go to costumes, choose a costume, or actually, you don't need to choose a costume. You can 
surprise a costume here. There we go. So, oh, okay. I guess we can do that. Now it's just gonna be create copies of whoever that person is. Surprise again. A bear walking. So, actually we can do this by a hundred times, maybe, because Big covers the screen. There we go. We got a bunch of pixels, and it kind of looks like Minecraft or something. But anyway, that's cool. So it's basically creating clones of itself. We don't need this anymore, and we can just have copies of itself. Um, whenever you stop it, it always deletes all of its clones. So that's cool, but let's how does that help us well what if we wanted to have like this is a very common game with like apples falling down and then um you want the apples to um go into this bucket but you want a lot of them i mean you want them to keep coming but um don't know if we'll do it or not, but but you don't want to have tons of apples, because tons of apples is a little too ma much, too many apples. So maybe we won't do that, but we'll show you the um, the way of like how to make them fall. So create clone of myself, and then so what it's gonna do is it's gonna create clone of myself, and then we're going to use all three blocks. So it's going to create a clone of itself and then it's going to wait 0.5 seconds and then it's going to create another clone of itself. It's just going to keep doing that forever. So when I start as a clone, what do we want it to do? Well, we want it to go to um, the Y position of 180 and the X position of pick random minus 240 to 240 and then it's going to go all the way up to here and then it's going to pick a random place from up here to from here to here and it's going to go up here and it's going to fall so well it's not going to fall yet so now we're going to have a repeat until and until we put something in here it's just going to do it forever repeat until um nothing right now um change y by minus three so it's just gonna fall at a speed of three if we do this they're falling but now they're just kind of staying there one thing we can do is touching edge and after that then it's gonna stop and if we just do this now it's just touching the edge actually right away so um repeat until this is might be being getting a little too complicated for you but um I'll see if you guys you can stay with me. I'll I'll, I'll try and describe everything very well. So cuz if you don't know about clones hopefully you'll be able to understand this. Okay. So the y position is the y position of the apple. So when the y position's going, once the y position gets to the bottom so once the y position gets greater than the number at the bottom, right? So it's going to, um, and that's going to be minus, uh, 179. 180 is the bottom, so 179 is almost the bottom. So, pretty much that. If we do this, oh, it is greater than that. Once it, I think it gets less than maybe. There we go, that's what it is. And it stops. It's not going all the way down, it's going until the Y position is um, 
greater than the if the y position is less than minus 179 and we don't want it to just stay there we want it to delete itself okay that's great and all but this apple's there if you guys haven't noticed that this apple's there and it's kind of getting annoying for me and i don't really want that apple just sitting there while the rest of the apples are falling i kind of want this apple to go away and only these apples to be shown so the way to do that is go to looks and hide when when five clicks it's gonna hide if we do this nothing is happening it's hiding the clones as well we don't want that so we're gonna show the clone when it starts to clone it's gonna show and now it shows the apples uh, the clones of the apples but not the actual one if we show it it's right there but so that's great and if you don't if you still have questions about um, clones tell me in the comments but um, I think I, I I think you probably understand now um, about how clones work so um, I hope you do if you don't you could just ask your questions in the comments but um, other than that, uh, thank you for watching, and please remember to subscribe.